Paano nga ba kukunin ang area ng sector of a circle? Alamin ang sagot sa video na to. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss how to get the area of a sector of a circle. So, a sector of a circle is the region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. The area of a sector is the fractional part of the area of the circle. So, using the formula, we have area of a sector is equal to theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So, yung theta dito represents the degree measurement of the angle over yung degree measurement ng full circle which is equal to 360 degrees. And whatever the answer is, we're going to multiply it to the area of the circle which is equal to pi r squared. So I have here our first example. Suppose we have circle B. Okay? So yung sector na binabanggit natin dito ay formed by two radii. Yung first radius natin ay si radius BA. At yung pangalawa, ang radius naman natin is si line segment BC. So yung sector dito ay formed by two radii at ng kanilang intercepted arc. So yung intercepted arc naman natin dito is si RAC. Therefore, ito yung sector natin dito. Pwede natin siyang shape para mas makita natin ng maayos. So just imagine na naka-full shape dito siya. So ito na part nito, this would be our sector. Yung topic natin dito is paano natin kukunin yung area ng sector natin. So kung mapapansin natin, itong area nito is just part of the total area of the circuit. So para makuha ito, we have area of a sector that is just equal to the given angle over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So itong angle na ito, ito yung central angle na ibibigay sa problem. At itong pi r squared naman, ito naman yung formula sa pagkuha ng area ng circuit. So kukunin na natin yung fractional part sa area ng buong circuit para malaman natin kung ano yung area ng given sector natin. So, we simply substitute. The angle here would become 60 degrees. So, bakit 60 degrees? Yung intercepted arc niya is equal to 60 degrees. Again, yung intercepted arc natin is si arc AC. So, since this is a central angle, it follows na kung ano yung intercepted arc niya, yun din yung degree measurement ng kanyang central angle. So, the degree measurement of angle ABC is also equal to 60 degrees. So, we will have 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi. Pwede na natin hindi mo na i-substitute si pi na value which is equal to 300, uh, which is equal to 3.14. Then, yung r naman natin is equal to 50 centimeters. So, r represents our radius. So, we have here 50 centimeters. Then, we're going to raise it to the power of 2. So, the lowest term natin, so 60 over 360 degrees. Ano yung greatest common factor niya? The greatest common factor would be 60. So, 60 divided by 60 is 1. 360 divided by 60 is equal to 6. Then, isisimplify lang natin dito na part. So, we have pi times 50 centimeters square that is equal to 2,500 square centimeters, right? Then, i-multiply lang natin. 1 times pi times 2,500 square centimeters. That is equal to 2,500 pi square centimeters over 6. Okay? Or pwede 2,500 over 6 pi square centimeters. So, we can still simplify this one. We can divide the numerator and the, den and the denominator by 2. So, 2,500 divided by 2, we will have 1,250. And 6 divided by 2, we will have 3. So, our final answer would be 
1,250 over 3 pi square centimeters. And for our next example, we have circle Y. So, the given is, yung radius natin is equal to 10 centimeters. So, yung radius is equal to 10 centimeters. At yung angle naman natin is equal to 120 degrees. So, yung angle natin is angle X, Y, Z. But then again, given na yung measurement ng intercepted arc na X, Z, yung measurement ng intercepted arc na X, Z is also 120 degrees. So, it follows yung central angle natin is also equal to 120 degrees. So, kukunin natin ngayon yung area ng sector natin. So, ito yung sector na hahanapin natin yung kanyang area. So, again, yung formula natin is area of a sector. So, that is equal to the given angle divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. Okay. Yung given angle natin is equal to 120 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r is 10 centimeters yung radius natin so 10 centimeters i-raise natin sa power ng 2 and next step we're going to simplify this one kunin natin yung kanyang lowest term so yung greatest common factor nila is 120 degrees so 120 degrees divided by 120 degrees that will be equal to 1 360 degrees divided by 120, that will be equal to 3. Then, times pi. Now, 10 centimeters raised to the power of 2, that is equal to 100 square centimeters. Kasi nga, 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10. So, i-multiply lang natin lahat. So, 1 times pi times 100 square centimeters, we will have 100 over 3 pi square centimeters. Now, this would be the area of our sector. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.